escuchar primero, después cuidado. Now, I have a terrible Wisconsin accent, so anybody who's fluent and I am not does know what the heck I just said. Fortunately, Manchado gives us a, a, uh, a translation. In order to dialogue, first listen, then listen. It's going to take me just a moment to build to a question, because if I just ask the question, it's not going to make any sense. The process that brings us together tonight has been one of no dialogue. And because of that, it hasn't been a democratized process. A bad process yields bad results. And that's what we see here. Bus shelters with little shelter, art experiences with no aesthetic, public art without the public. What we have here are three pieces of political art. Art that's an offense to both public and the art. What I mean by no democratized process is that we have a committee that's founded by career politicians, a committee that has met in secret, a committee that publishes no minutes, that denies access to both press and public. We have a committee that is seeking a sculptural product, but there are no teaching or working sculptors on the committee. This is, this is astonishing in a city that has two excellent schools of fine art. And I know that there are Mayad professors and students who live in this community. They are not on this committee. This is a bus shelter project where bus computer, commuters aren't on this committee. By your own admission, you never thought to add a bus commuter to your committee. This is astonishing. Now, we have to fix this. We have to fix the process before we go one step further. Further, And the, the, the fix is very, very simple. The first thing we have to do is stop right now. And we have to fix this secret committee. The second thing, we have to publicize the next meeting of this committee to the people. And I don't mean that the committee invites people. You invite people to a private event. This is not a public event. This is a timeshare convo sales event. Okay? This is not a people's meeting. This is a meeting where you control the discussion, you set the time limits, you preset the content, and you preset the outcome. It's unacceptable. Is there some, I'm, not, I'm, I'm coming to a question. question. I'm, I'm coming to a question. Not, I'm, I'm coming to a question. Every future meeting of this committee has to be publicly advertised. I can watch a general assembly from Occupy Wall Street live from Manhattan, but I can't have any access to a public arts committee meeting in my own neighborhood, a, a committee that is completely dark, completely stealthy, and simply closed to me and the rest of my neighbors. All the meeting minutes from this committee, Alderman, you can shout me down, and I'm going to continue to talk okay. until I'm taken well, out of this room, because <laughs> this is a sick process, and it has well, to stop. We yeah, have we to respect the people in all here of the meeting minutes. Here. I'm, I'm perfectly respectful. No, this is the question on the substantive issues related to this project. All the he has 45 minutes to make his presentation. must be publicized if you've kept any. And if you haven't kept any, just tell the truth. You have run a secret committee with no meeting minutes. Let's start having minutes. Let's start opening this to the people. All the meetings have to be open to the press. I guess this gentleman is, is done. You may not de deny press access we will come to back public and meetings. Do this for the next And this is how we conduct democracy in our district. A non-democratized process public fund, uh, with public funding, but the people aren't involved in the process. This is not public art. This is politics art, and it has to stop tonight. 